Hello and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you are keeping your services well and fine. So in today's tutorial video, I will be demonstrating you that how you can make table of contents using MS Word. Okay, so if I have to talk about table of contents in very short, then it be, it plays a very important role in figuring out that what topics are there in which page numbers. Okay, so now the process. So to demonstrate the procedure of uh, making a table of content, I have used a research paper of mine to show you that how you can carry forward with the process. Okay, so at first I have to define the headings. Okay, so what I can do once I have the document open in front of my screen, I need to uh, put my cursor near the headings and from there I have to go to the style section option and there I have to define the define the headings like abstract is a heading over here. So I press abstract over here. Then similarly, we continue with the same process for introduction here. By defining the headings, it gets easier for us to make the table of contents, which I will show you once we are done with this thing. Uh, and uh, if you don't uh, define the headings, then the moment you uh, start making the table of contents, they will redirect you back with a uh, error message that first define the style headings, which I will also show it to you. Okay, so we are done with identifying and defining the headings of our research paper. Now we are going to show you the process of making the table of content. That was process number one. Process number two, open an empty page, then go to reference. From reference towards the extreme left, you will find table of contents. Okay. Once you select this, then you will find plenty of options, various formatting ideas for table of contents. So I will go for the most simplest of all, that is this one. Okay. So once I select, as you can see, the table of content is carrying all the headings which I have defined in process number one. Okay. Now, uh, if you don't define the headings, then what will be the consequences? So let me also show you that. So if you don't define the headings, then, uh, and if you try to make your table of contents, then this is the message that it will show. I go to table of contents, this, see, creating a table of contents, start by applying a heading style from the styles gallery to the selected text. Unless you don't define the heading from the styles gallery, you won't be able to start off with the process of making the table of contents. So if I have to recap once again, what you need to do, first you open your document from there, define all the headings. After you have defined the headings, go to reference from their table of contents, choose the formatting style that you are, that you find as per the content and select it. Okay. So before ending the video, let me show you the process again for a better understanding. So uh, I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video and you have learned something and uh, definitely this will help you out in future when you're going to write research papers or, with, or articles for your organization and uh, if you have liked this video please give a like and uh, if you have found this video useful do share it with your friends and families for a better outreach and if you uh, want to watch more tutorial videos of mine I would request you all to subscribe my channel for the better communication. Okay, so thank you all and stay well. Okay.